Hi again and thank you for watching my channel. Uh, we are continuing with the immigration uh, episodes uh, to Canada. We are speaking today about a program or the express entry, which is very important for many people because the most or the most common pathway to come to Canada. This is the biggest stream where can you, where immigrants can uh, register and come to Canada. But before you start or you, before you register, Probably you would like to know if my score is enough to get me in or not. So let's speak about this, how you can calculate your score, which is very important. We call it the comprehensive ranking system, CRS calculator. You easy go and write C in a Google uh, search, CRS calculator or CRS tool, and you will get it from the first link. So here is the CLS calculator. It gives you a number, which important I will refer after why it's important. So the skills, that's your skill, your education, language ability, work experience, and other factors, okay? So let's use this tool to, uh, it, uh, it's if you're eligible for one express entry programs and what express entry program are uh, you are uh, eligible for. So let's go. Uh, the first question is what is your marital status? Let's say you're married. Uh, if you're common law Canadian or a permanent citizen in Canada, no. Uh, will your spouse come with you? Yes. How old are you? This is very important because according to your age, there is uh, the, the scores. So let's say 30. Uh, what is your level of education? Again, you have secondary diploma, you have one-year programs, you have two-year programs in the college or trade technicians, you have a bachelor degree, which is three or four years, you have two or more certificates like diplomas, you have a master and doctorate degrees. So let's say a bachelor, which is many people are. Have you earned a Canadian degree in or certificate? Most of people not. Official language of Canada, there are, as I said, two official languages in Canada, English or French. You have to master one of them to get um, uh, a score. So let's say you had uh, the IELTS, general. You don't need, uh, let's say you got seven in all, of, uh, or you know what? I will get around six. Let's see. I'll give you some. Six in all of them. Uh, do you have another test? If you have the French, you can write it down, not applicable. Work experience. So in the last 10 years, this is 10 years, how many years of skilled work experience in Canada do you have? In Canada, okay? So none of them. In the last 10 years, how many total uh, years of Foreign skilled experience, you have to have full-time, paid, and full-time. So no volunteer, let's say three or more. Most of the people will have that. Do you have a certificate of qualification from Canadian province, which is called the Canadian nomination, territory or federal bodies? I would say no. So additional points. These are the main points. Now we will have additional ones. Do you have a valid Job offer, this job offer can give you up to 50 points, but you don't have. Do you have a nomination certificate? You don't have. Do you or your spouse or common law partners uh, have at least one brother or sister living in Canada? They are citizen of Canada, no. What? is the highest level of education of which your spouse, so your husband or your wife, it depends who's the one is, uh, let's say another bachelor. In the last 10 years, do if they have any year of experience in Canada, no. Uh, uh, did your spouse or common law have a test? I would say no. Now, you see, calculating the scores. So, let's see, human scores, age is 95, level of education, 112, official language, 64, 
and uh, so here's here's the score about the spouse. The spouse will take eight for her education, uh, zero for language and the Canadian work experience. Other things you will get. 38 for the experience. So your total score is 370. Okay? 370. Let's see. So this is the total. 317. Remember it. Okay? Let's see if we go and change the eyelids to 7. That's why I asked 7. 6 to 7. 7 to 7. And 7 and calculate again now your score is 360 uh, 56 so 356 is higher than 317 but still not enough you need to be closer to 490 so i will tell you why soon so let's say uh, you will do a french uh, I don't know why it's not. Let's say your wife do an English test. What it is? Common law partner. Here it is. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, say your wife made a test five and here is another five and calculate let's see you have already 360 so here you can understand what part of eventually you can change your age you can change your education only if you do a master or something but these things, the eyelids, you can repeat it. For example, you can ask your wife to do an eyelids test. These things can help you. Let's see if, if there is a work uh, work uh, offer, uh, job offer. Uh, uh, okay, do you have a certificate? See the job offer. So let's say you have a brother or sister, maybe. We'll see how much. And according. So if you have a brother or sister, it gives you 15 points. Okay, so it's 375. But let's see where is job offer uh, F job. So here, work experience. Uh, nope, nope, nope. No. Okay. Do you have a valid job offer? Let's say yes. And um, this job offer need to be in skill zero, one, three, or uh, zero, one, two, or three, according to the NOC. Uh, if you don't know what is NOC, you can go to our uh, uh, channel and uh, watch that. So with a job offer, supposed to give me, supposed to give you 50. Anyway, so why you need this 375? Why you need to understand your score? Because your score is, is important in, in, in the withdrawal. So let's say Google, okay, and um, uh, X, Press entry latest withdrawal score. So you can go to that, and here you can see uh, it will show you generally how many people still in the pool. That's and this is their CRS score. So they are 601 to one to 1200 almost. Uh, 1,300 people now. This is August 20. Uh, so these are the numbers now in the pool. So they are around quarter of a million people in the pool. Uh, you are competing with them. So basically what happens, 
When the government needs 100 people, they come and choose 100 people, usually from the top people, except if they do it by, 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 by experience or by uh, their uh, occupation. So that's another thing. But uh, these are things about uh, the score. So you go and go. Uh, so... So, okay, round of invitation, here it is, okay? So the third one, uh, so we go here, 20, these are older ones. Uh, so, here's the round of application, and usually it is, sorry, uh, so these round of will give you roughly roughly the numbers you need to know uh, for the uh, ex express entry. So the federal skilled workers, uh, as you know, there are three streams. We already spoke about them, and these uh, numbers are uh, shown in the pool. So basically, according to these numbers, you can know if you have a chance uh, to uh, be one of those. Yeah, uh, it's here. Is who, who's eligible? There's French language, healthcare occupation. This is another one. These are the uh, systems that they, we have now in inside the uh, skilled workers uh, we have systems like french language so those for speaking french and there's nothing healthcare occupation this is a new program uh, this is the you can see uh, the the occupation they need there's the stem programs Again, this is within, within the skilled worker. Anyway, so this is why it is very important to know your score. If you can't uh, or you don't know how to, after this video, you will easy find your score so nobody can uh, mislead you. Uh, this is very important is to find your score before you apply because it's crucial in the express entry rounds. Wish you all the best and hope to see you in my next episode.